Okay, one more video this morning. One more test day video. I've come up with a couple errors in my earlier videos that I had to fix, uh, that I might have to fix some days, but I'm not going to bother with those. What I'm going to bother with is one overall um, heavy, what I'm going to call heavy concepts. Um, oh, you're not supposed to do that for emphasis, are you? I don't know. Heavy concepts. How do you underline things? Heavy concepts. Uh, for test day. I did mention in one of my latest videos that I, I, I have to know, it, it's really good that I know the results of tests immediately. Like when you get your test sheet, if you get your test sheet without me, you have to show me. If I end up leaving early because I have to be somewhere else and you get your test sheet after I'm gone, you should text it, uh, take a picture and text it to me, email it to me, give me that feedback while the, your performance is still fresh in my head so I can use it to help me um, improve my coaching and improve your skating. Uh, all of this has to be done in a timely fashion. Uh, I need that objective feedback, that third-party feedback as soon as possible so I can integrate it into my memory of what happened um, and coordinate the two into some kind of uh, future plan or future alteration of plans, a correction of plans necessarily, maybe necessarily. Um, it's super important that I get this kind of feedback. It's actually really important if you're at a test day. Um, it's very important that you, the parents hopefully, and the kid definitely take some time to go over the results with me um, so we can confirm uh, where it, is everything, it, did the judge analyze it and see it the same way that we did? Did she see the same weaknesses that we did? Did she see the same strengths that we, that we did? If not, uh, do I have an explanation for that? If not, I might have to go to the judge and ask her for an explanation, although they generally do a lot of tests and don't remember that. Um, but often you can get some kind of... Judges are very approachable. You can often get feedback from them. But that's my job. That's not the parent's job. Don't ever approach a judge. Uh, the other heavier concept I have other than, you know, you have to get that uh, debriefing, that feedback from me after tests fairly quickly. If not that day, then the next skating day they do, they do next skating day they have for sure. We should be going over the test sheets on ice. Whether you pass or fail. The other concept I have is I don't really consider tests terribly important in, in a lot of senses. Not as important as competitions. They're kind of development tools towards competitions. Um, so I don't particularly care if... What? Just something to say now? Yeah? Hi? What's up? Um... I don't particularly care. It's not that important to me if I see tests, except that I need that. Uh, you know, the test sheet by itself is useless unless I saw the test and can and can apply what is written on the test, what is marked on the test, with what I saw, with what I understand, with what I know. Um, I need to be able to piece all that together. Uh, if I haven't seen the test, the test sheet is no good. Uh, updates are no good. Telling you how you skated is no good. I need to. I really need to see the test. Um, but there are definitely situations where I can't watch a test or where I have to send another judge, to the, uh, a coach to the test, or I have people testing at different times in different places or whatever where I can't see the test. And it's not, not a huge deal for me. Um, the one... The one big exception to that... I mean, I can... If I, if I see competitions, I can... Uh, adjust, like I said, they're more important. They're what kind of what we're working towards. So if I get to see and analyze and debrief competitions and get an objective viewpoint from competition results, um, that's enough. Um, but every little bit helps. The more information, the better. I want more information, more information, more information, more information, more information. The more information I get, uh, especially from third-party sources, especially from more objective third-party sources, the better job I'm going to be able to do. 
the last heavy thing is, the only exception to this, and I found this out recently, is, and this is the only thing that I would rate as important on test day. Um, well, I guess there's another thing too. It's another chance to go out and perform in front of an audience alone, in front of a judging panel alone. So it's a really good practice for competitions. It's like a simulation of a competition, especially especially if you're taking your uh, free skate test, um, say a month or two before you compete with that same solo. A really good warm up, really good uh, simulation for it. Um, and even if you're going out and doing like a skill test or an interpreter or something, it's still works on your performance skills and your uh, uh, presentation skills for later competitions. Um, so all very good, applicable uh, experience. Um, the heavy thing is, a lot of these tests, especially if I put a lot of time and effort into it, this is the only time I'm going to ever be able to see them perform that test. Uh, if there's a skills test or an interpretive test or a, um, a free skate test or a dance test, um, if they take it and pass it, they're never going to do it again. So I'm never going to be able to see it again. Free skate test, totally less important, much less important. Uh, really dance test less important since there's like 30, 20, 25, 26 dances. Um, if I miss one or two here and there, it's not a big deal. I'm going to get the same kind of feedback, the same kind of understanding, the same kind of experience from seeing other dances. Uh, generally, two or three dances are taken a year, so missing one or two is not. It's not going to be. It's not going to be like I've missed uh, my child learning how to walk or talk or something like that. Um, but if I've been working on a test for two years, and there are a lot of tests out there that take about two years to pass it is going to be a big, devastating, emotional blow to me to uh, not be given the opportunity to experience that test with the child, to experience the culmination of two years of hard work and effort and correction with the child, with the family, live at the scene. So on the one, I mean, I really try to give the attitude at test days that I'm very aloof and don't care, and um, I'm, I, I have a very relaxed, over-the-top relaxed persona at, at competitions and test days. Uh, that's purely to uh, elicit the right emotional and focus and uh, focal response out of the skaters. It's not what's going on internally. As most people know, I don't even sleep usually the night before test days or competitions. Some competitions I won't sleep days before. Um, and I totally crash at the end of competitions and test days because it's such an emotional um, roller coaster, an emotional stress uh, getting through a test day. Um, you know, you want everyone to perform every test um, to your expectations. And even if they all do, uh, the, the stress of trying to get that to happen and trying to get people to skate with poise with confidence, with success, with focus, is pretty intense. Um, and if I have, you know, a dozen, half dozen, uh, you know, in Labrador I used to have 30 tests per test day, that's 30 times where I have to work myself up into the point where I can uh, get this kid focused and in gear. Um, and all it takes is 10 minutes of lack of focus by me and I can have somebody go right off the rails. Now I try to pre uh, prepare them enough ahead of time before competitions and the week leading up to competitions that it should kind of be um, second nature by the time they get there. It should be, you know, I should be able to not be there and still have them skate, certain, skate super well. It's way more about uh, a little bit of crisis management. You know, one out of ten tests might go off the rails if I'm not monitoring it correctly. Um, but more. It's more a reward for the hard work that I've done. Um, you know, I deserve after working on a test for a year to see that test, to experience that test, to experience the emotional, um, the pride, the satisfaction, the joy, uh, the happiness of them. Not just them passing the test. That's to me again. That's irrelevant. It's them going out and performing the test and skating and um, enjoying the performance. 
them enjoying the performance, me enjoying the performance, us sharing the joy performance, the shared performance. Um, it's just a really great um, forum in which to develop connection, develop trust, develop rapport. Um, So that adds a whole different layer of importance to test days that I probably should mention. Uh, especially since I've had some parents, even in recent time, and coaches think that I don't care about my skaters' tests or other skaters' tests. You know, to some extent I don't. You fail a test, great, I get another chance to see it. Um, I get paid again. Uh, that's not really a big concern, but... Uh, we get to learn from that experience. I love failed tests. Um, I prefer past tests because then I know I've done everything right. I've done my job. Um, and I get to just thoroughly enjoy the entire performance. But I'm not going to show that. I'm not going to show kids how much it means to me to see their tests. Um, that would put way too much pressure on them. If, and they've already got enough pressure. I find I, it's a full-time job trying to get them unstressed at test day. Uh, and skating with the same relaxation, the same confidence they have in practice. Um, so there's no way I can outwardly show how intensely I feel about my kids taking tests, my kids on testing. My 